How creative is God? God is all creative. He is omnificent, which means that God is unlimited in creative power and ability. And when God creates, he is always thinking of everything else around it for it to be creative. So when God creates one thing, he gives a certain form to it. He gives a form to uh, humankind, you know, man and woman. He gives a form to trees. He gives a form uh, to grass. But each and everything that he creates, there is not one duplicate of that very thing. The form is the same, but the material makeup and the physical representation and sight is not the same. We have many different human beings, billions and billions that have existed uh, on this earth before, but not one human looks the same. So God's creativity is not only in creating that uh, which currently is in the form of it, but also the differentiation. God creates clouds, but not one cloud is the same. Uh, the certain measures of each cloud are different. The, the, the type of cloud is different. Um, and, and when God creates, again, not one thing is the same. So God's creativity works in that way. God's creativity creates that which has never even been known or existed. So we see in Genesis when God speaks out, let there be light. When he declares that to be, there, were no, there was no such thing as light beforehand. So when God declares both the, the product and the purpose simultaneously come into being, there's no such thing as light. And then when God speaks by his creative power, he declares what is, but also the function of it. So he not only creates the form, but he creates the function. Not only does he create the function of that very thing, such as light, but he gives differentiations of light. We know that the moon has a different purpose for light. The sun has a different purpose for light. Uh, you know, when God creates, light is different in a variety of ways to speak to us in different ways, and it has different purposes. The light and the stars are also differentiated from uh, you know, the moon and the sun. Not only this, but God is so creative that when he creates something, he sees how it's going to correlate and function with everything else that he creatively creates. So when God created clouds, he creatively thought, okay, I'm going to have clouds store up rain. There's going to be rainfall, which can give water to the crops. And then seeds that are in crops will be able to receive water. And then the, through that in the light of sun, the seeds can properly grow. And as they grow, they will grow into trees and bear you know, fruit. And then these fruit, this fruit that the tree bears over time can be given to humans. Humans can eat this, and this will be able to give them healthy sustenance. Uh, to be able to um, just have the proper nutrition that they need. God, everything that God creatively creates isn't just for that very thing of being what it is, but it's for the benefit and, and works in unison and collectively with everything else around it. So God is creative in that sense. Uh, we also come to understand and see that before God created anything, it was just God. And so when God created, he created creativity itself. So as God created, creativity came to be. So we ourselves are beings who are creative, but we don't have our creativity just because of who we are. God created and gave us creativity, and our creativity is derived from him because God created creativity himself. So we see this. We also see that God, when it was just God, he was not creator when it was just him. How can we come to understand this? Because it sounds maybe initially, oh Lance, that's blasphemic. But let's understand here. There was no such thing as the God-man before the Logos became the God-man, right? The Logos was timeless and spaceless. He wasn't bound by anything. And yet when he entered and was impregnated into uh, the Virgin Mary, um, he became the God-man, the Lord Jesus Christ. And that was the first instant where there was something uh, that was known as the God-man who was fully God, fully man, truly God, truly man. So before the Lord Jesus Christ, it was just the Logos, and the Logos was not bound by a body. But we now know that the Lord Jesus Christ is forever the visible image of God. So before God even created, uh, it was just him, and he wasn't even creator. So this reveals that God's he, God did not come, become creator until he chose to create. And that is just 
fascinating and mind expanding because there are things in God that uh, have not even yet been revealed to us. Not only this, but there are things to come in eternity that obviously we know from the prophets and Paul that they couldn't even put into words what they saw. So God's creativity is unlimited and so much so that there are things to come in eternity in heaven that we haven't even seen, tasted, touched, or imagined. There are elements we don't even know. There are foods to taste that we don't, we can't even comprehend. There are animals to see and other beings and entities that we haven't even seen before. For There are revelations and knowledge of God that we, we don't even know yet. So this is the beautiful wonder because God is unlimited in creativity and there are things that God can create that we don't even know or can't even put into words because we don't even know what that very thing is. So uh, this is just mind expanding because all throughout heaven, God's creativity is gonna continue to happen. We're never gonna get bored. We're never gonna see it all. We're never gonna know it all. Forever there will be ever increasing uh, in, re in the revealment of God's omnificence. So how creative is God? God is so creative that he created creativity himself. When he created things for the first time, both the product and uh, the purpose came into being. God creates the form behind certain things. There's differentiation. We're different from animals. Animals are different from trees. Trees are different from rocks. But then even when God creates those very things, uh, they are different in the same form based upon the material makeup of them. There's no one human that looks the same. There's no one tree that is the same. There's no one plant that occupies the same space. And the, the functions might be the same, but everything looks different. And this is just incredible. And to know that we're going to go into eternity forever growing and seeing new things of God's omnificence, it is just a joy. So may we give, give praise to him who is the King of kings, the Lord of lords, and may all come to know uh, the, uh, God Almighty, who is the Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, by believing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and repenting of their sins.